Hi, welcome back to Shawnee Hills Workshop. Today, I'm gonna to show you how I built this raised garden bed. That's a workout. But don't get me wrong, I'm glad I've got the auger instead of postal diggers. But my leg is bruised from about two inches below my knees up to my hip from supporting the left side of it. That thing will, uh, it'll wear you out. All right, we're making some progress now. We got all the posts in their holes, got all the holes dug. All the eight foot tall posts are plumbed and set in concrete. All the short posts are just um, in their hole right now. I won't backfill those until we actually build the beds themselves. The 90 degrees of the bed will pull them all into square. Um, we've taken a transit and leveled off all the tops of the posts. So we've got a level mark there. We'll be able to cut them all at the same height. We'll also be able to measure down and uh, make sure that all of our beds are level. So the next step is to start actually putting the walls up. There's a bed on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time Clear to see from up here, the world seems small. We can see it. I don't know if you'll be able to hear me or not. I'm trying to hide the mic from the wind, but I've tied a string from one side to the other at exactly the right spacing of the inside edge of the post, and this serves two purposes. Not only does it give me a level line to shoot for my top board to be at, but it also gives me a straight line to get my post in a straight line. We meant to be in the great outdoors forever free. Take a 
step back to see the truth around you from a distance you can tell stapling up this landscape fabric along the sides and this is so when it rains the soil doesn't leak out through the cracks in between the boards um, you know just so we don't lose soil and also so we don't make a muddy mess on the outside of our board and you know, we're trying to keep things looking neat as well as being functional so we're going to line all the beds with this and then start filling in the sticks mm -hmm. 